All right, are you in a situation where your client's teeth are too yellow or they want to change it? Uh, well, today I'm going to be sharing how you can brighten up and make teeth white in Lightroom. So let's head on into Lightroom real quick. Now this image is given by Unsplash. I love Unsplash, not sponsored, but Unsplash is an amazing place. So many photographers, if you want to hire them, if you want to use some awesome photos, uh, go check it out. But uh, you can also upload there, but let's get into it. So what we have here is a woman and she's got some white, or not some white, some yellowish teeth. Um, and we want to brighten those up. We want to make those white. Uh, and so the first thing that I'm going to do is I, the, I'm going to leave the photo alone, but I'm going to work specifically on her teeth. So I'm going to open up the new brush and this is the latest version of Adobe. So if you want to update it, uh, to follow along exactly, um, yeah. So we're going to go into brush, which is under add new mask uh, under select sky and we're going to click it and then what we have here is a couple different brush options now I usually go on a uh, size you can adjust later feather I usually like to leave it at 100 flow 76 and density 23 or uh, 93 now feather is basically like your blur um, on the size and then flow is opacity that's kind of like layered. That's how I like to think about it. Um, and density is basically your opacity. So or how much is actually given out. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the brush size about the size of a little bit under half, a little bit under like half the big tooth here. Um, just so that we can get the full area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do minor clicks right here and kind of just like get it in. If you have a Wacom tablet, uh, this is why you would want to use a Wacom ta tablet um, to kind of brush in. And this is why photographers should own a Wacom tablet over the keypad. Um, highly would recommend. I had one for a while, but um, it, uh, oh, I, the pen stopped. No, the pen didn't stop working. I just lost the pen. Um, so we have that. Now you're probably wondering why is it, why is it all red? That's because the overload mode is on. And if we have that on, I'm going to put press never so that we don't see that. Um, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in here, unclick it real quick, click it back. And that's just going to bring it up. And then what we can do Instead, some tutorials may tell you to just brighten up the exposure. However, if we zoom out here, um, it's not going to look realistic at all. It kind of just looks really weird. So instead, what we do instead to brighten up the teeth and make them a lot more uh, white is we go back in here and we select this. It's selected and we're going to bring this down. We're going to bring up the highlights actually. Okay, so that will brighten up the teeth. So you can press the backspace or the um, back forward slash key. And as you can see, that made a huge difference in brightening up and whitening the teeth. It's more brightened than whitened. So what we're going to do to brighten them up is there's two ways that you can do this. You can either uh, bring down the saturation and that's my favorite way to do it. Um, as you can see, that did a huge, huge difference in the photo. Now you don't want it, you want it to be subtle um, because if you have something too unsaturated, it's going to look obvious compared to the rest of the photo. So um, it's kind of just the adjustment that you want to do. Otherwise, what you could also do, depending, you could go the opposite way of the color of your photo. So here we have. Uh, I change the temperature to blue because the image is blue. Now if we zoom out, uh, you're going to see that it is pretty bright. Now what we're going to do to change that is we're going to go in here and we're going to bring down the highlights a little bit and bring the temperature down a little bit. And that should help a lot. That should help quite a bit. So as you can see, there's a huge difference in brightening up the teeth. Um, and we might even want to, I like that. 
However, I think it is still a little bit too bright. So I always like to go over the top in the beginning and then kind of adjust my weight down um, instead of the other way around. So we're gonna go and we're gonna bring this down to, um, when it gets to this point, I like to use numbers. So we're gonna go 15, I usually go by five. Um, and you just want it to be subtle enough. So what you can do is you can keep on looking at that and it looks subtle, but it does look, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. It does look a little bit too blue. So we're gonna go back in there and we're gonna change this by about 10. So we're gonna change this to 33. And this is a pretty warm image, so you kind of want to go towards that warm color. Um, and I think I think that looks pretty good. Um, you, I would recommend doing subtle over a lot. Um, and let me see. So yeah, that's a that's a pretty big difference already. Now you could obviously um, change it so that it's all the way blue, or uh, blue a more colder temperature um, like that, like 50. 50 would definitely do the job correct. Um, however, it looks a little bit out of place, but that's really up to you what you wanna do as far as that, but that's how you lighten, widen, widen, brighten, lighten teeth in Lightroom. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you, hopefully you learned something, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.